Last night I ruined a surprise, but I am going to be making Ryan some homemade Reese's cups. Are you cleaning? True. <laughs> so, are you excited for your surprise waiting at home? I'm surprised. Hey guys, so I'm starting my vlog on Wednesday. I kind of thought it was Thursday for a minute, but I am going to be making Ryan some homemade Reese's cups. So I was thinking might as well show you guys and Jenny is over here I'm about to paint her big something for her birthday. So hey, I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> So it's funny because I actually made Brian these Reese's Cups sophomore year for Valentine's Day and that was like our first Valentine's Day together. So I was thinking I should make them for him again because he's coming to visit this weekend. And I was like kind of being lazy about it but then I saw on like, if you subscribe to Tastemade on Snapchat, they literally were making it on their Snapchat today. So I was like, okay, this is literally fate like telling me to make them for him. Got some confectioner's sugar, peanut butter, Melt chocolate chips, sticks of butter. So to make the peanut butter, I literally eyeballed everything, so I don't even know if it tastes good. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Okay. Taste test. Yeah, Doesn't so need any more. No, it tastes really good. Okay. So I put like a little bit of confectioner sugar, then I put peanut butter, okay, and then I put like a little bit of butter. And then I gotta hit it again. Okay, so we're gonna taste test these. This is how they turned out. All right, let's do this. Mm. Hard. <laughs> the chocolate's really hard, but the peanut butter's like not that hard. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. Hmm? Really good. Good morning guys. I have really bad morning voice right now, so just please don't mind that. But it is February 17th and it's actually 6.45 a.m. I'm about to go to the gym with Charlotte and we're gonna do our Kayla Ed Signs workout. So we're on week six and we're going on week seven next week. And I can definitely tell like a difference because my curves are you know, showing a lot more. I still have like a paunch. I'm really happy with the results so far. I mean, it did take a really long time. Like it's almost been two months and you know, I'm not skinny yet. It sucks that we all want instant gratification from like working out one time. Somebody told me this, it took so much time for you to gain all that weight. It's gonna take a lot of time to lose that weight. So you really have to be patient so I'm all showered and ready to go. I think I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. I just want them to look really good um, for when Ryan comes. I was gonna go with him tomorrow and we both get our eyebrows done, but I literally can't wait. Like I just feel like they look so ugly and I just wanna get them done. And at meal plan, there is breakfast roll-ups and I'm so excited about that. So after I get my um, eyebrows done, I'm gonna go straight to meal plan and eat my soul out. <laughs> We decided to come to the pool, me and Lar, because I just wanted to like be baked by the sun. I just felt like being really, really hot and just taking a nap. So I literally have my fuzzy blanket out here covering me because all my towels were in the wash right now. That's actually really funny. I'm gonna snap. Are you cleaning? True. We spent like two hours out there. We got a nice tan, can't you tell? I was under the blanket the whole time. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna do some spring cleaning like Laura said and we're gonna actually move our food into those which actually kind of doesn't make sense because that is for food but like we're short girls and like we can't see we can't see anything like it's just like all like just piled up in there so like at least we can like see down and then we're gonna move those to there let's get to cleaning do you do montage <laughs> I want to. I really want to make my like vlogs more artsy. First, I need to get a better f tripod. Some mysterious lean powder. Lean. <laughs> oh my god! Does it stink? Ew. It smells so like 
like smell it. It's like straight up like no shit protein powder, right? Yeah. I don't know. My mom gave my mom gave me this like right when I was going to college because it was like a meal replacement thing. It No, literally when I used to go like camping with my family, we would do that. Blueberry cobbler in this. <laughs> you would straight up make no, blueberry like that cobbler in bread this. Uh -huh. and then blueberry filling. No way. Yeah, and like uh -huh. put it over the fire. Wait, that's like really funny that I said that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a little penguin, how cute. Banana bread. What? <laughs> I bet this is like expired. No. Two seven. What's the date? Yep. Is bad. Two things with banana chips that I got over summer. Summer B? Not summer B, but like this oh. past summer. And I haven't eaten them. I wonder if they're bad. Because they're like dry. Los plantanos. You wanna try it? Oh, it's up here. Um, April. It goes in the pantry and not the fridge. Well, yeah, it's like, um, you put it in the fridge after you open it. Oh, that's cool. Um, but this already looks open. I'm just gonna <laughs> throw that, that out. that not? I'm surprised we don't have rats and cockroaches in the back. Yeah, you're right. I'm oh, what? Video. Um, <laughs> there was like a rat in this girl's bathroom, and <laughs> these roommates like literally all had a broom, and they like smacked it like ping pong, like, or what is that other Walking. game? No, like the pin pop pinball. Are they scared? You need to get out of here, right? <laughs> Why do we ever have like cockroaches? That's what I don't in have. the beginning. Like well, we're so much grosser now. Yeah. Like, it's because like over the summer, that's when they usually come out more because oh. it's hotter and humid. So they would just chill in here. Oh. But yeah, I don't know. You're right. We're dirty. Yeah. So next time Laura says I'm a crusty ass roommate, no, this crusty. is an example of her being a crusty ass roommate. <laughs> so we saw some blue Fanta in the back of our pantry and Laura was like, that makes me sad. Like how could I abandon it? So I was just like, we should get blue ices. And she was like, yes. So we're literally stopping in the middle of our cleaning and getting blue ices to treat ourselves. We got this far, you know? We have to treat ourselves. A crusty ass. Example B. No, it was literally so much worse. I shook it up. Yeah, that's bit. true. It was gross. <laughs> literally, of course, when we come, it's not ready. Like out of all the flavors, it's not ready. Like, it's not weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed to be me because we literally waited for the blue icing machine to be like <laughs> ready. Funny story. <laughs> I called Wawa and I wanted to see if their icy machine was like working. So I was like, hey, is your blue icy machine ready to drink? And he was like, what? And I was like, is the like ready sign on? You know, like if it's green, it's ready. Like if it's red, you can't drink it. And he was like, uh, yeah, it should be ready to drink or something like that. And, and I was like, can you check? Like, yeah. I'm calling because I need you to check. Like I'm not gonna just drive to Wawa. And like, if it's not ready, because you said it was ready, yeah. I, like I would be so pissed. Like I was just like, just go check. It's literally like a step and you look over. But then he was like, okay, like let me get someone to do it. He didn't even put me on mute. So like I heard like everything. I was like, did you forget about me? I tried calling back and he like didn't even answer. So it's fine. It's 7.13 p.m. and I'm on my way to Fujiyama because I'm getting sushi with my friends. I was craving sushi and I'm so glad they said yes because you know when like you're craving something 
and then someone else is like, but I'm craving this, and like, let's go here, and then majority wants to go there. That just like sucks, so I'm like really glad that they were like super chill about it. I don't know if I told you guys, but Ryan is coming this weekend. He is going to be landing at 10.56, like around 11 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to pick him up from the airport. I totally forgot to tell you guys, last night I ruined the surprise. I bought him concert tickets to go see Future. He's been sending me so much about Future like in my Insta DM. I don't follow along with that stuff, but apparently his new album dropped last night, I think. Anyways, I bought tickets and I was gonna keep it a secret until he came obviously, but yesterday I was like writing the note and I was drawing a picture of Squidward saying future, or, you know, like the meme, I'll show you guys later. And that's when he was supposed to like guess what it was. So I was taking a picture and snapchatting it to my friends, but I accidentally snapshot it to him and I noticed he didn't open it after I realized, so I kept on calling him, kept on calling him, and then like he opened it without like answering my calls, which was like super weird and like annoying. And then he realized that I got him future tickets because he was like, if you wouldn't have called me, I would have just thought you were trying to be funny and like, you know, you didn't actually buy me future tickets. So that sucks. I ruined the surprise. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm currently at Orlando International and I'm waiting for Ryan to come out. He said he was walking out of the plane. I don't know how long it's gonna take him to get here because like I might have to loop back around. I don't know if the cop's gonna like tell me to move but there's like a lot of people just like waiting. So I'm thinking it's fine. I'm hoping it's fine because I really don't want to move. And he's also at super low percentage of battery on his phone so Hope it didn't die because he's not reading my texts. So Sonali just picked me up from the airport. I had a flight from Atlanta to Fort Lauderdale, which is past Orlando. And I had a two hour layover. Yeah, I have a two hour layover in Fort Lauderdale. And it goes to Orlando, it's a 43 minute flight. It's a total waste of time and money. But, but it was cheaper than that. But it was cheaper, yeah. So it wasn't a waste of money. See me. I could have driven about the same price, but just taking seven hours, it's about how long it took me to drive from Athens, to do all this from Athens anyways. When I was in Fort Lauderdale, I was kind of interested because there was a shooting there. Like, we went and saw the Pulse shooting thing, you know? Yeah. So I was kind of interested. I wanted to go see it, but then, like, every cop there had like, an AR-15 and, like, we're, like, walking around with, like, guns and stuff. And I was like, I'm not going to, like, look suspicious if I'm not going to shot here. <laughs> it's, like, not my... Not my goal. I got lucky. I had a window seat both times. Damn, yeah. no way. Yeah, and I had one. The first time I had like a like a 90 pound Korean woman, like literally did not need to have the seat sitting next to me. And on the way back, it was like a nine year old girl. Nine year old? Yeah, she was tiny too. So I was like, oh, thank God, like I can stretch out. Right? <laughs> say that. Like sometimes I don't even know when to put in the. Road Marta. So I'm a little more urban now. On my pickup truck at home. <laughs> If you guys didn't notice, she's always been working out. She may have told you in her vlog with look how good she looks. It's not like a super big difference just yet, so you can't really tell. She looks good. Okay, I can tell. So, are you excited for your surprise waiting at home? I'm so proud. Stop! <laughs> she was like, oh, Ginny she going to use a paint pen for her sister's like banner or whatever, and I was like, that's a lot. I just get a random Snapchat. And it's a picture of Squidward doing like the future like crunches with his clarinet. And I thought she was just being funny and I sent it to her and she was like, what is that? No, but it was like a drawing. Yeah, it's like a drawing. But I thought she was just being funny and drawing it. And I sent it to her. So I literally had no idea. And she called me like 13 times. I was like, what do you want? You know, like, with Jesus. I'm like, do your homework. You, <laughs> and I was like. You literally didn't even answer. And in between those 13 calls, you opened it. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know yet. I opened it and I was like, what? Why did you answer, you butthole? And I didn't answer. Well, like, I was doing homework. I was like, why are you probably 13 times? You know? That's why. I'm trying to finish the problem. Answer. And then she's like, and I'm just silent. I'm like, yes. I'm like, what? And uh, she was, <laughs> she's like, why did you open that Snapchat? Like, oh my god. And I was like, I literally, I literally would have never known. I thought she was literally just sending me like a random like drawing. And I was like, oh, whatever. They're being funny. And then she's like crying. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, oh, now it makes more sense. Like, <laughs> I would have never guessed, she would just never call me. If you ever want to know what Sonali got, she all you do is just like guess random stuff and start laughing when you get it. She's like, like, <laughs> I'm gonna do that for every one of them, now you can't know. <laughs> the first one I guessed, you laugh, I'll just that. You can't open the box up first, you have to read the card. <laughs> Sometimes 
けどな Ready? Future! <laughs> you like it? We're going to future. It's cold. Yes. They're homemade. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. You might have.